you have won an ugly mother. What? Trying to afford an explosion? Oh man! I feel like running for nothing. Today in the balmy jungles of Nova Scotia to take a look again at the movie Predator. Today we're going to look at the deadliest trap in the movie and the one that Arnold used to finish off the Predator. Welcome to Huckleberry Bastard. Near the end of the movie, Arnold's been beaten around by the Predator and he has no weapons left. And he tries to lure the Predator into his last and final trap. Predator doesn't fall for it and goes around to try to get and finish off Arnold Schwarzenegger. But Arnold still has that one trap and he uses it to great effect. And that trap is the deadfall trap. So what is the deadfall trap? Well, the deadfall trap is normally a heavy weight like a large log or some rocks that are suspended above the ground. They come down to a trigger system and when that trigger system is set, it releases the weight and it comes crashing down on top of your prey. Now, deadfall is not always intended to kill, but sometimes crush and immobilize your prey for you to come in and finish them off. If you've seen the movie Predators, then you'll know there are a few rules of thumb that you want to use when constructing a deadfall. One is the weight of the deadfall. You're going to want a deadfall that's at least double or up to five times as heavy as the intended prey. So in the movie Predator, with the Predator being at about 500 pounds, Arnold would have had to lift at least a 1,000 pound log, or maybe a 2,500 pound log, up into the air. Another thing to remember is you don't want to put the weight too high, because if it's too high, that'll give the prey enough time to escape before the weight can fall after the trigger is set. The deadfall, like other traps, are also going to require you to bait the trap. And Arnold does this in the movie again by using himself as the bait to lure the predator towards the trap. Also, again, he used funneling by using the natural terrain of the jungle to bring the predator towards him. And he helped guide the predator in by setting spikes. Arnold used a very simple trigger mechanism for his deadfall. It was simply a stick tied to the main deadfall, which was a giant log, and it just came down and was wedged between what looked like two rocks, and one of the rocks had a kind of a notch to hold the stick in place. Now most deadfalls are going to have this type of fulcrum and lever type system in order to maintain and to keep in place the weight of your deadfall. It didn't appear to me that he had set up the deadfall for it to be activated by the predator. And in fact, in the movie, Arnold activates the deadfall himself by kicking out his trigger, getting out of the way, and letting his deadfall fall onto the predator. Instead of using the trigger system from the movie that Arnold used, we're going to build on and modify slightly our trigger system that we used from the spring net trap video. There are many different types of deadfall trap with different types of trigger systems, like the figure four trap, which is intended to catch smaller game. But in this video, we're gonna build a deadfall trap suited for killing or incapacitating large game like the dangerous predator. If it's deadly enough to kill a deer, a bear, or a predator, it's deadly enough to kill you. So use extreme caution when setting up and dismantling this type of deadfall. The trigger system we're using for our deadfall is the same trigger system that we used for our net trap with a slight modification. Instead of stepping directly on the trigger stick, we now have a trip line running away from the trigger stick and then towards 
the kill zone where our deadfall weight, in this case, our log, is going to fall. The trip line is going to activate the trap. It's going to pull on the trigger stick and then release the toggle and let the trap loose. Now you can set this before you set up the uh, deadfall. You can see it just leads back here towards our trap. And then uh, once you have the uh, deadfall in place, you can then tension your trip line. As with our other trap, you can see that we have the trigger stick braced against the uh, toggle and then just runs up around a sturdy branch and then back down onto our log. The great thing about setting up the deadfall trap with this type of trigger system is that it can be placed away from the area that the deadfall is going to come down. This keeps you safe when setting it up and if you accidentally set it off, you're gonna be nowhere near the danger area. Time to give it a try. I'm gonna simulate a trip on the trip line by just giving the trigger stick a nice tap in the direction that the trip line would pull it. Now let's try the trip line. Another thing to consider when setting up a deadfall trap is not to rely solely on the weight of the deadfall itself, but to place a hard surface below the deadfall in order for it to act as a hammer and anvil crushing the prey between your deadfall and the hard surface below. Well, we're facing a predator. So how do we make our deadfall even deadlier? Easy. Just add spikes. The deadfall trap is a very versatile trap. There are many variations on the ways you can make it and different trigger systems that you can use depending on the suitability to your circumstance. You can use it to catch very small rodents and birds or you can use it to trap large and dangerous prey such as boars and bears. I hope everyone's having some fun watching these series of videos based on survival skills shown in some of my favorite movies because I'm having a lot of fun making them. Stay tuned for some more videos based on Predator, and as always, thanks for watching. Get to the chopper? I got your chopper right here. It's a pretty good chopper.